I want to reach the people who would say you want to listen to radio dramas, who are interested in this other program or this, that, and well, the other. I hope that you never get a license. All right. Because of that very statement. Because why should you have a license and tie up a frequency of any nature? I don't care whether it's AM, FM, or something new that they're going to dream up. Laser. This is Wadio Vaderloo. Studying the servants of the Waterversity of Unaloo and Unaloo Lutheran Waterversity. Campus Radio provides um, a station where you can hear to independent um, bands, you can hear independent artists. I think it's quite important, like when I was a student here, uh, there's usually, I w always wanted to find different resources to plug in, find out what kind of current events are on school. There is no single image to CKMS. There's absolutely no single image. So no matter who we put out front, there's going to be people who don't like them. Like, I don't know how you fix any of that. That's part of who we are. Part of our identity is our pluralism. And that, in itself, was one of the dilemmas, right? A campus radio station could soon go off the air. University of Waterloo's 100.3 Sound FM is fighting to stay alive. CTV's Nicole Lampa has this for us tonight. Nicole, why is the station struggling? Bottom line, Janine, money. It barely has enough cash right now to keep going, but that could change depending on a student referendum. Bringing down a radio station is, it hurts everyone. Um, taking away the freedom of speech of people is not making making your mark in whatever poli sci or whatever um, course you're in. It's just wrong. Those, those people who brought the referendum, those students who, who, who voted, they're no longer around. Sound FM is still here though. That's, that says something for the tenacity of the, of the people who took over after us. And, I, and that is appreciated. 